Hi, my name is Ian Pratt and I live in Portland, Oregon. Well, the space that we're sitting in right now is the new home of the Weller Society. It's a social club based in Portland, Oregon that we just started about four weeks ago. The heart of the Weller Society is to create a hub, a, a physical space in the city of Portland for entrepreneurs and creatives and other great people to connect, to learn, to grow, and to have fun together. The heart and the idea behind Weller Society has been something that has been brewing for about seven years as we asked two questions. Uh, what is my life missing and what is Portland missing? And we asked a lot of people these questions over the span of about seven years and I've asked myself that question a lot ever since I moved here. We've kind of culminated all of the answers to those questions into what is now the manifestation of the Weller Society. Uh, the hope is to create a space and to create experiences for people to connect to go deeper into a more integrated life where as a human being, I need to work. I also wanna have fun. I wanna meet great people. I wanna learn and further my education and I wanna be able to give back to my city. And so what we are doing here is creating a place and, and curating experiences that bring all of that into one package. And our members have access to health and wellness, have access to classes and workshops and either further education or learn new topics conferences where we become more aware of what's happening in our city. We also have a lot of fun with entertainment like happy hours and movie nights and uh, concerts and plated dinners and the exciting thing that we are doing here is we are actually asking people to buy into something that requires something of them where they have to put something of their energy and their passion in themselves on the line and invest it with other people and see what happens as we all kind of come together and bring what we have to offer to the table and we all share that. Um, I think that there's a lot to be given and there's a lot to be gained. I have this idea that has kind of shaped the way that I look at the world and it started when I was in Uganda and I was driving down this busy street in Kampala and it was 110 degrees and I was packed into this little car with a bunch of people and I saw a guy walking down the, the sidewalk with a briefcase that was just bursting at the seams with papers that were almost spilling out of it and he had it under his arm and he was walking just completely dedicated and this look on his face told that he, whatever he was doing at that moment was extremely important to him. And in a moment I was, I was by and he was gone. And I kept thinking about that, the rest of that ride where I'm on the other side of the world experiencing you know, passing by millions of people that have literally no impact on my life whatsoever. But for that guy, whatever he was doing, that was like a moment, a defining moment, um, kind of a make it or break it time for him. And to me, it, it had no impact. It didn't, it didn't matter at all what he was doing or what his issues were, or what, what was stressing him out that day. And that, that idea has kind of sunk in with me where the more that I've thought about it, the more I realize every human being uh, experiences reality as a story about themselves. And for example, when I wake up, I'm tired. If I'm sitting in my car in traffic, there's people that are in my way. If I'm at the grocery store, there's just a random clerk who's just, you know, some guy that's right there. On the other side of that is for that clerk, I'm just some random guy in his line and I have very little significance in his story. So as you start to look at the world as you kind of step back and you realize that life isn't a story about me. There's millions and billions of stories that are weaving in and out. You're able to start to realize like the role that, for me, the role that I play in your life or in my neighbor's life or my, my wife's life, I get to play a small role or a large role in people's lives. And so instead of thinking about this person as just a random cameo or a you know co-star in my story. I, I try to think of myself as how can I be a good supporting character in their story? How can I be a great cameo? And even if it's just a cameo, like a grocery store clerk or a person that you you know meet on the subway, how can I play a role that adds positively to their story and how can I be an enriching character in their story? Whether it is that small brief interaction or you know, whether it's, it's your wife or your business partner, how can you add to their story in a positive way? And that's a hard mindset to maintain kind of throughout the day and throughout the week, but it's something that as you practice that kind of mindfulness, it allows you to see 
people's stories as equal or a greater value than your own in a way that you can sacrificially give of yourself and create space for them to be able to reach their potential that they need to be reaching as a full human being, blessed with a full story of potential. And you get to be a catalyzing factor in their story that allows them to actually reach that potential. And I don't, I don't think that there's anything better than that, to be honest. So every day you wake up, you get to decide what role you play in the lives of the people around you. And for me, I want to play a role that contributes positively to the stories of the people around me who are living out their stories all around. And I have the opportunity to come alongside and in some way contribute, whether it's a little bit, a little interaction, or a lot of it, like a deep, faithful relationship. I have the opportunity to contribute in a million different ways positively to the stories of the people around me. And for me, that's what really matters.